Welcome to the video series of data engineering on Microsoft Azure DP203. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Stream Analytics Windows functions. Some of you will be wondering why we are jumping straight to the Windows function without understanding the Azure Stream Analytics or Spark Structured Streaming. I realized while creating the window for Stream Analytics that in past I have already created or I already made a couple of window videos on these topics. So please check out those videos. I'm going to put the link of them in the description. So without further ado, let's jump to the Stream Analytics Windows function. So Stream Analytics, func uh, Stream Analytics Windows functions are basically categorized into two types. The first one is the known overlapping and the second one is the overlapping windows function. The uh, non-overlapping are three types, thumb link, session, snapshot, and overlapping is hopping and sliding window. So we'll start with the thumb link window and uh, this is the most used function. I have used that too. Uh, so basically here, like, we count the number of like we, we, we like in this windows function we basically do the aggregation on certain time frame so it is pretty similar to like the tumbling trigger like okay uh, start this job after every 10 seconds uh, so here in the screen you can see like if we have to count like how many records uh, uh, how many events are actually happened in every 10 seconds we're going to use the tumbling window so you can see in the first 10 seconds, there are three events. And after that, from 10 to 20, there is two event, 20 to 30, there are like four events. And we are using tumbling window in the group by clause. So you can see select count as event from source, timestamp by this and group by tumbling window. So tumbling window syntax is the time unit and what's the window size. So in this example, the window size is 10 second and the time unit is second. You can have other time units too, for example, minute, hour, days, and those kind of things. And as I mentioned, it is the most used uh, Windows function. One thing I wanna like bring into the attention, uh, I wanna like talk about in this, um, like in, in the Windows function concept is this timestamp by. So some, there was like, I'll say one question and a couple of my buddies were confused too. Like when we are studying on like Windows functions, we forgot to like see this thing. Like if you look at this, it doesn't look like normal uh, SQL query where you can see, okay, if select count makes sense for somebody who's coming from SQL background, you can uh, make sense out of it. Like, okay, so we are doing a count on all the records as even from source and then group by. But what exactly is this timestamp? So in stream streaming words, there are like the multiple timestamps are available. So when I say multiple timestamps, like for example, when the event happened, that is like, let's say event creation time is there. Then when it is ingested into our system, that ingestion time is there, processing time is there. So based on our requirement, we we're gonna put like on what timestamp we wanna create our uh, like a stream functions. So here it is on create create time, but basically this thing you need to keep in mind because like they give a question where like like they, they you have to pick like two two you have to fill like two blanks I'll say. So the first the second like a uh, one blank is about like uh, the Windows function, which when we understand the types of different types of Windows function, we fill it. But the other one is basically this one where they literally like either like uh, remove the what kind of timestamp you're using or like remove this timestamp by. And if we don't focus on this, like we get confused in the exam, like is this the right format or, or something wrong there. So tumbling window syntax is basically, you can use tumbling window or tumbling with the time unit and the size. It is like, a, we are aggregating something which happen every 10 seconds or after every certain time frame basically. So here is the key is every, like every with no 
like no other options available so if you find anything where it says okay uh, give us the number of events which happen every 15 minutes tumbling window is the option and the other thing is like tumbling window don't overlap as we saw so an event which occurred in one window won't be counted in other window session window so session window uh, the syntax I'll, th I'll start with the syntax so here the syntax is like session window session then followed by time unit time out size and max duration size so time unit we understand like it could be different units of the time second minutes and all those time out size is basically when the session gets time out and what's the maximum duration of this session um, here session starts or like you can say sorry here window session window begins when the first event occurred so you can see here the first event uh, like the window started from here sorry like window started from this point from this point not from the zero like in case of tumbling window start from zero but here it start from there so basically here windows begins when the first event occurred and if another event occurs within the timeout frame so we like we have a timeout uh, parameter if other happen within that then window extend and it can extend up to the max duration only so in this example if you look the first event happened here the second event happened here it's within the max out time which is a five seconds so from here to here it's like four seconds i guess but it so that extends the window but the window will be extended till 10 seconds only like in this case till here if it uh, like if nothing happens like uh, like window close it like basically if no event appears within the timeout window close so the second window started from here from the 11 second you can see and it goes like first event happened so then it gets uh, the window extended till next uh, max out then the sec like a 40 like this event happened at 15 seconds then it's extended again but even the this happened here it didn't extend further as i mentioned like if uh, event happens within the timeout frame the window extend but it extend till the window max duration so in this case is like 10 seconds uh personally i've never used windows uh function in one of my like in in any of my uh, work uh snapshot this is uh, this is quite easy basically we're like we grouping the event that uh, occur at the same time stamp it doesn't require any sp any specific uh, function for it or any syntax it's basically you group by them system dot timestamp and we can apply as i mentioned simply by adding system dot timestamp in the group by clause so here like let's say it's happened at one second so anything all the events happen here will be counted and um, this is pretty much like um, you guys not exactly the same but you guys or like everybody who is in the uh, like reporting world they use these kind of uh, um, these kind of group buys it's it's a, it's a snapshot window where like like anything which happened at the same uh timestamp we we like we group them together basically next is the hopping window so uh let's look at the hopping window of, uh, syntax first the hopping window basically this the the keyword the keywords remain same then time unit is pretty constant in all of them except the snapshot then there comes window size and the hop size so window size is basically like how long is the window what's the duration of window and hop size how much window move forward relative to the previous one so for example in this case if you look at this hopping window second 10 and 5 so the window size is 10 and it it is supposed to hop at every 5 seconds so if you look at this it started like window started from 0 so window is from 0 to 10 
that's first window and second window will start from 5 5 to 15 the next window start from 10 10 to 20 so we are hopping like so here you can see we have one two three four five five windows and we basically hop means like the window slides uh, that much time frame relative to the previous one and here as i mentioned initially it's an overlapping window so an event can occur uh, in multiple like it can be part of the multiple windows so for example if we look at here like one six ten this is our first window the event count is three and the second window which start from five to fifteen our count still three but we like six and ten are part of both the both the windows basically and same two is part of both 14 you can see that like events can be part of multiple uh, like multiple windows basically and hoping window uh, it's uh, I've used in one of the use case with Twitter where they it was like kind of in an experiment like not in uh, exact real work hopping window not hoping sorry hopping window and the last window is the sliding window uh, with the name um, some of you might be thinking it as a, like a concept of a moving average um, the people who works um, like who do a lot of business reporting they they are aware of, of moving average so moving average concept is basically uh, let's say I want the average of average salary of last six months or so um, so it start from let's say from March till September as soon as as soon as we move to October it the average goes from like the duration change from April to October it's like by name and look it look like that but it's it's not exactly like that uh, when we use sliding window in stream analytics basically system is asked to logically consider all possible windows of given length so when I say given length means like 10 seconds like in this case it's like 10 seconds so every 10 second sliding window system need to be considered but in stream analytics uh, if we think it's uh, it's it's like the windows can be in uh, infinite for example if um, like IOT device is working and our sliding window is of 10 seconds like literally every after every second we counting sliding window it could be like it could be really um, like it, it can result into a lot of uh, windows so to optimize that or to um, not to go into a, like an infinite uh, like infinite number of windows Azure stream analytics instead output events only for those points in time when the the content of actual window change so you can see here like we started from 0 to 10 then we didn't go from 1 to 11 like it kind of moved here so when the actual content changed then only things change so like here 6 happened at 12 second the second like let's say these are the event IDs so from here to here one first event happened this is the second event so our window will be considered from here not from here and same thing like at this point four and five happen so they take it like 10 seconds from there and then after that like no event happened and still like if we, you taking like uh, 10 seconds from here you will find these but like only when an actual event exist uh, exit or happen then only sliding window or like as our stream analytics window counted and uh, syntax is pretty similar uh, like time unit and the window size uh, so that that's all for this window so the key takeaways from this window is like types of uh, windowing function and don't forget to check uh, my old videos on Azure Stream Analytics or Spark Structure Streaming and this timestamp by too. Like as I mentioned, 
this is asked in um, in exam like I've seen in in almost in every exam where people get confused where like they see a blank of time like a, it, it's like a drop down where they write this query and in the first drop down they keep it blank and provide you multiple option and the same like in the second drop down they keep it blank and provide uh, provide you multiple options so with windows we can figure out like what kind of window they're talking about but this timestamp sometimes we don't keep an eye on it so if you keep an eye on it that it's a helpful and as i said this is just basically because in stream well, like in stream analytics there are different types of the different type of times so not different type of time like different times so which one we have on which we are creating our windows that's basically decided by this thing okay that's all for this video stay tuned for the other videos thank you bye take care